a limit from a piecewise function. So we're going to use this piecewise function. So first of all, let's take the limit as g of, of g of x as x approaches. We're trying to find the limit as we approach 2, so we'll approach 2 from the left. So if we approach 2 from the left, that means that we're not quite at 2. So we are not equal to 2, and we're going to be at a number like 1.999. We can think mentally in our heads. but. As we go in here into this function, we have x squared minus 3x plus 1 is the rule that we would be following as we got close to 2. So let's just follow that at 2. 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. 4 minus 6 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So the approach from the left would be negative 1. How about from the right? The limit as we approach 2 from the right for g of x would be, well, still we would follow this rule because we're not quite at 2, right? We're in a limit as we're approaching 2. So if we follow that top rule for numbers that are really, really close to 2, we get 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. Oh, so it's the same problem, 4 minus 6 plus 1, and that's negative 1. So now we can say overall the limit is equal to negative 1 because it approaches the same number from the left and from the right. Curiously, g of 2 is not negative 1. g of 2 would mean that you would now follow this rule and g of 2 would be equal to 5. But the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x is not what you actually get when you plug in 2 but what you get when you are close to 2. And so we would be on this other branch and we would be hitting negative 1. Okay, so why don't you try this next one on your own? Try doing this h of x, this piecewise function. So, first of all, assuming you pause the video and tried it on your own, let's do the limit as x approaches the number 1 from the left for h of x. And that would mean that if we were less than 1, we would be following the top rule. We'd be approaching from the left. So in the top rule, we get 2 times 1 minus 3, which is 2 minus 3, and that one is negative 1. On the other hand, if we were on a limit as x approaches 1, but we said that we were going to come in from the right, that means now we're bigger than or equal to 1, so we'd be following the bottom rule. And the bottom rule says that, well, as we get close to 1, we'd be getting a 1 squared minus a 2 times 1 plus a 3, which is a 1 minus 2 plus 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. So this time from the left we're getting negative 1, from the right we're getting positive 2. So overall we would say that this limit as x approaches 1 does not exist. For a limit to exist it needs to equal the same thing from both sides. Curiously, f of 1 does exist. 1 is bigger than or equal to 1, so it would be telling us to follow the bottom rule. And as we saw down here, when we plugged in actual 1, we get the value of 2. So the functional value exists, but the limit doesn't, because there's a different limit from the left and from the right.